There exist evidences that the USA and the USSR closed their expensive lunar programs after they found alien bases on the backside of the moon. One of the most competent specialists whom we trust, Christopher Kraft, a former director of NASA, he revealed the following recording of negotiations between the Mission Control, Houston Center, and lunar mission Apollo 11. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin speaking from the moon. Those are giant things. No, 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 this is not an optical illusion. No one is going to believe this. Mission Control, Houston Center. What, what, what else is happening? What's wrong with you, astronauts? They're here under the surface. What's there? A mission interrupted. Interference control calling, Apollo 11. Astronauts, we saw some visitors. They were there for a while, observing the instruments. Mission Control, repeat your last information. I saw that there were other spacecrafts. They lined up on the other side of the crater. Repeat, repeat. Have you picked up anything? I didn't have any film at hand. Three shots of the saucers or whatever they were that were ruining the film. Control, control here. Are you on your way? Is the uproar with the UFOs over? They've landed there. There they are. And they are watching us. The mirrors, the mirrors. Have you set them up? Yes, they are in the right place. But whoever made those spaceships surely can come tomorrow and remove them over and out. Apollo 16 mission. Charles Duke, Thomas Mattingly and John Young watched a large oval-shaped object inside a crater, watched a strange object which moved along lunar highlights, made records of them, reported mission control in Houston. Duke, these devices are unbelievable. I'm not taking a gnomon up there, young. Okay, but man, that's going to be a steep bridge to climb. Imagine, you've invested vast amount of money to build a house, and when the house was nearly ready, you suddenly stopped any activity. So did the USA. They spent big money for moon investigation programs and suddenly stopped all programs in spite of promising results. Huge data indicate close contacts between the USA and aliens. The USA placing the Air Force base in Nevada at the disposal of the aliens. American ufologists climb the first contact between Earthmen and representatives of humanoids whose fleet was settled above the equator took place in 1954. The second meeting took place on Edwards Air Force Base in the presence of Eisenhower, then President of the USA. Both meetings were filmed and the recordings were preserved upon nowadays. The fact of the UFO's landing and taking off from Edwards Air Force Base was confirmed by astronaut Gordon Cooper in 1995. A mutual agreement between the USA government and aliens was reached. So that is a reality. And yet, they do not seem willing to contact us explicitly. Perhaps there exist extraterrestrial rules of law, same with international rules of law, prohibiting that. Nevertheless, snakes worship had existed in majority of nations on Earth. That is a historical fact. The Chinese idolized dragon. The Africans worship Danbala, a rainbow snake. And so voodoo, the most powerful magic of our planet, capable to turn human being into a zombie. The Mexicans worship Kukulkan, the feathered serpent. Snakes are the favorite images of Australian aborigines. Depictions of serpents are discovered on every continent and everywhere they were worshipped. Perhaps only Russian heroic epic Belinas tells stories of fighting the dragon Smegarinich. This three-headed serpent wanted victims and Russian heroes strove to protect their people.